pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Jenna and Noah here with your announcements. Today, Friday, no Attention, all seniors, please complete the graduation project survey you received last week in your school email. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Jenner or Mrs. Koslick. Also, seniors, sign-ups for the CJ Betters Holiday Tournament are currently held in Ms. Jones's room and with Ms. Koslick in the D-Wing Career Center office. This is an opportunity to get half of your graduation project hours right after Christmas. The basketball tournament is held at CCBC on December 29th and 30th. Central Valley High School softball is having a CV t-shirt sale. S small through extra large are $10, and double uh, X and triple X are $12. You have color options of white or gray. Order forms and pictures of the shirts are located in the halls. Softball boosters will be taking orders and payment during lunch this week of November 16th. If you, if you missed the lunch option, please see Natalie Larkin or Caitlin Suter. Don't miss out. Last day to order to make your payment is November 20th. Orders will be delivered before Christmas. The Central Valley Warriors football team is playing Hampton it's tomorrow at Seneca Valley High School. Kickoff is set for 7.30 p.m. Any high school student interested in riding a bus to the game should sign up in the athletic office. The first 46 students to sign up will, be, will have a guaranteed seat. Cost to ride the bus is $5 and the ticket to the game is $5. The theme for fans is neon. That's all for your announcements, Central Valley. Have a classic day. Hey, CV, it's Garen and Ty here with your sports. On Tuesday, the Gallows were defeated in a hard-fought battle against the Villa Maria Victors. With a score of 0-0 at the half, the Victors then put up two goals in the second half, and the CV WNT got one with 16 minutes to go. We're sorry to hear the Lady Warriors fell short. Better luck next year, and to the seniors, congrats on all of your accomplishments. Tonight, the football team plays Hampton at Seneca Valley. Kickoffs at 7.30. The theme tonight is neon. Wrestling sign-ups are in the front office for any boy who wants to participate. Okay. Well, that's all for your sports. Here's me, Reese, and Zach with game day. Good Friday morning, Central Valley. I'm Zach Petty, and alongside me is Tyrone Ross and Marie Sees bringing you college game day to kick off festivities, 12 o'clock at ESPN News. Pitt taking on Duke. What's going to happen there? Um, I got Pitt. I mean, their offense looked better because, you know, I told Jordan you that Jordan Whitehead was going to be offense, and I see Pitt doing some damage. Uh, I see Pitt rebounding from their loss versus Notre Dame, so they're going to win. 3.30 on CBS, the number two ranked Alabama taking on Mississippi State. What's going on? I'm going to have to go to Alabama. They played a great game versus LSU, and I don't see them stopping now. This one's going to be interesting. State's quarterback, Dark Prescott, he's really good and everything, but Alabama's defense is way too tough right now. All right, let's kick it off into the Big 12. We got you, so primetime viewing. Number 12, Oklahoma Sooners taking on the Baylor. Don't get me wrong. Oklahoma has been playing very well, but Baylor, they're undefeated, and I don't see them trying to mess up their chances of getting to the playoffs. Oklahoma, I'm taking them. Samaj, running back Samaj P.A. is really good, and um, I, I just see them just rushing. Baylor's defense is not that good. I just don't think it's going to happen. All right, sounds good. Well, CV, that was your college game day. Until next week, have a good one. Better than what everyone expected us to do. 
So that's always good. That's good. That's good. Uh, you guys did better this year than last year, right? Yes. That's really good, actually. Um, so you're a junior, right? How do you think you guys are going to be next year? Next year, I think we'll be okay. We're losing key players like Maitland and Mia, and all I've seen is really. So we'll just have to try and fill their positions. All right. Thank you very much. There you have it, Central Valley. Central Valley, I'm here with Froderick. Froderick, how's this game going? I'm mean, going to we're only down four five points now, but we're only down five points. We're going to pull through. It's going to be just like the first half. We're just going to... What's up, Central Valley? I'm here with starting volleyball player for the girls, Baylin Brown. Hey. How's it going, Baylin? Pretty good. All right, so you big game tonight. Yeah. Who do you play? We play West Shemokin. West Shemokin at Seneca Valley, yes. correct. All righty. So, how's the season going this year? I mean, I think it's pretty good. You know, we're still in it, so. Yeah. It's always good. <laughs> um, how is this year compared to last year? Are you guys doing better? Um, yeah, I think it's a lot better. Last year we lost in the first round, um, and we were like seated like 13. So we moved up a little bit this year. We're doing a little bit better. So last question. As a senior, how was your four years, if you played four years of volleyball, been? Oh, it's been awesome, you know? <laughs> um, our team's great. We all love each other. We get along. So it's been good. Yeah. There you have it, Central Valley. Thank you, Bailey.